Hey, it's Grant. Um, today I will be talking about uh, battlefields in the American Revolution. Um, I chose battlefields because they are some of the most integral parts of um, and most important parts of the American Revolution. It's where they're fought. It's where um, they're won. It's where the revolution was won. It's where the revolution was lost. Um, I chose two specific um, battlefields to talk about. The first one is the Guilford Courthouse. Um, this was this battle uh, was fought at the Guilford Courthouse in March of 1781, and is most known for uh, Nathaniel Green, the, the American, defeating the British commander, uh, General Cornwallis. Um, the other one that I've chosen is the King's Mountain. Uh, battlefield, the Battle of King's Mountain. Um, this was fought in October of 1780 and is best known uh, for, is another American victory, uh, best known for the frontiersmen of America um, destroying and fighting British forces that were sent to subdue them. Um, something they have in common is both of these were fought in North Carolina um, and the these are both two of the most well-preserved American battlefields that we have. Um, this is because they were both made, uh, turned into national military parks. Um, another um, good reason to have these battlefields is for field trips. Um, a field trip can be very beneficial to the uh, the under the development of the students. Um, I know for uh, for my personal um, teaching, I would the first thing I would show them is the difference of terrain that these men had to fight in, just judging by the battlefield. So the Kings Mountain National uh, Military Park is in the middle of the forest, surrounded by massive rocks, surrounded by trees, surrounded by, you know, just, it's a very secluded, closed off space. While the uh, Guilford Courthouse is a much more open field, much more um, what you would think of when you think of a battlefield, it's literally just a field. Um, so teaching them the importance of terrain and showing them that terrain is something that can be very beneficial for them. Um, going off of that, um, field trips, especially when it comes to history and especially when it comes to battlefields, it can um, enhance their understanding of what they've been learning in the classroom for however many weeks or even months. Um, it gives them a reward. It shows them that they've been working hard and it shows them that this is where, this is what we were, this is where we were talking about in class. You are now standing where this is, what we were talking about. You're now standing where we were talking about. And it shows them the magnitude, it shows them the largeness of what we've been talking about. Um, it encourages them to uh, develop their thinking about uh, and expand their thinking of what this place is, what it represents, because you're standing in the middle of it. Um, so yeah, all in all, battlefields are very um, integral to the reason why we still we have this country, why the Revolutionary War was won, and showing that to different students and showing that to the next generation can be very important and very useful to show them where we came from, where it came from, where this country was fought and won. So, thank you.